Hello, I'm Darker Devotee and welcome back to the Chanel House Trilogy. In the last video, we played an episode where someone had a fear of bags, not just any bags, big black bags. Now, we are finally going to exhale after two videos. <laughs> let's, let's start, shall we? Let's see how it goes. We're we going to be going back to playing as what, what's her, whatever her face was? I think so, yes. Okay, we're on the same train as the previous Ugh, one. I'm so Episode. bored. Wish I hadn't given that dude my book. I never even caught his name. You know what? I that recorded was it pretty like five rude minutes ago. Of me, I actually, gone. I should have asked. Maybe I'll go find him. You you wouldn't want to do that. Whoa! God damn! We've only been traveling for half an hour. <laughs> Felt like a lot longer. Uh oh. Still got most of the journey left. How long is this journey? I wonder if there are any other stops. I'd kill for a cigarette. Hmm. I should go stretch my legs, see if that train dude's around. <laughs> right. Ask him where the other guy's cabin is. Or just see if there's a bar. Wait, this is... This, she, she was in the room with the origan, uh, origami dogs. It's, it's the same picture. But there was no one in that room. But that was what that was the one that the train conductor person was saying in the previous video. That there was a girl that poking her head out the, out of the window, and we went into the room, but no one was there. I see, I see. Huh, interesting. Okay, yeah. What say? So he's in this room. I don't want to just go knocking on any old door. Uh, all right then, all right then. You gonna be fascinated by pictures? I have no desire to carry a picture of a train around. All right then, all right then. Hi, Don. Hey. Evening, Lassie. How's old Gloria treating you so far? Yeah, all right. Gloria? The train, Lass. Old girl just had a service. It's like lying on air, isn't it? It's... she's... kind of ancient, right? <laughs> <laughs> you could say that. Been running well over a hundred years, so bad, she has. Bad. Of course, she's had every part replaced more than once. I see. So, it's so train. she's not really the same train at all, then? No. She's got the same heart, though. Anyway, you youngins don't want to be listening to Olgan on about history. I already talked that museum doctor's ear off. <laughs> all right. Oh, no. <laughs> Not at all. I'm fascinated by the past, actually. When I was younger, me and my friend used to go out in the countryside looking for old bits and pieces. Had a big collection. Oh, I. Interesting. him. All right. I used to be a bit of a mudlarker myself, actually. Mudlarker? Isn't that a type of bird? <laughs> Aye, so it is. But it's also the name we give to people who wander around the shores of rivers and sea banks, picking up all manner of old tack. I found myself some pretty rare stuff back in the day, so I did. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah? Like what? Oh, just your usual stuff. Found an old tin of photos once, though. That was a fun time. Victorian death so, photos. anything I can help you with, miss? Maybe. <laughs> if you haven't watched the previous episode, then that wouldn't make any sense. But uh, asked about the journey, yeah, sure. You make this journey a lot? Aye. More than I care to remember, Like actually. every day? Aye, sure enough. It's pretty unusual to find such a late night route, right? Mm, I was definitely. surprised when I saw it. Aye. I like the night shift. Night train. Nice and quiet. It's like a night Less bus. Less the night mind. That doctor's been up and down like a yo-yo. And won't sit still. Surprise he's not out roaming the corridors right now, actually. Still. He did get me a sniff of whiskey. Right. Can't complain. Sorry, I can go back to my compartment if you'd like. No, not at all. I've already had my nap. The more of the merrier, I see. And I'm sure Floyd would be happy to see you as well. Okay. So what, well, this, this doctor person's like tripping balls or something. Just like, he's like, you think he's underground and everything's like really crazy and all sorts. Dunno. Maybe he's in the catacombs. Coombs. How do you want to pronounce it? Because of what's her face here. Got a, what was it? A, was it a phone call? I think it was a phone call. Got like a message saying to uh, visit the English, well, one of the cat cat games in Eng in England. And well, he's English. We're now going to England, right? I don't know where we're going, honestly. We're going somewhere. Uh, ask about a destination. So the port town, port town we're headed to. Aye, quaint little Nibbawamset. Nibbawamset. There's nothing to see there. Nothing at all. Don't any of the bigger port towns have boats to Augur Peak? Nope. Just that one place. Not exactly a popular tourist destination. Doesn't sound you it. Have you ever been yourself? Auger Peak. 
Aye, plenty. I love the Arastro. Oh, uh. so you'll be crossing with us. Aye, got some time off. Nice. You got family there? Aye, my wife's over on the island. She misses old Don when he's gone. <laughs> So, you say the other guy's a doctor, huh? Aye. Off to Ogre to dig around in the ruins. I had no idea my old home island had any historical secrets like that. Mm, yeah. Curious. It's funny, isn't it? You, me, and him. All with an interest in archaeology. Yeah. Wait, wait. His name Convenient. isn't, uh, Howard or something, is it? Harold Lang, if I'm thinking right. Why? Do you know him? Friend of a friend. That's so weird. I had no idea when I met him on the station. Hmm. Life can be strange sometimes. Aye. <laughs> oh, don't. You'll be saying it's fate next. <laughs> Maybe we're all set to discover some great treasure on the island. Maybe. Could Actually, it. it's funny. It's not just us, either. Oh? Yeah, my friend Kat. She's on the island. She's, uh, she's Dr. Lang's assistant. I've heard a fair bit about him. He seems different. Definitely Aye, so different. They all do, don't they? <laughs> yeah. What's that supposed to mean? I know exactly well, what you mean. You know. Yeah. All these young men <laughs> these days. Huh. Yeah. I get you. Anyway, I wanted to ask, what compartment is Lang in? Thought I'd go introduce myself properly. One B. Especially now I know he's Kat's boss. He's in one B. But hey, he told me he was gonna take a nap. Ask me to wake him in an hour. So I'll give you a nod once he's up and about again. It's a dream then. Okay. Cheers. Guess I'll go back to my room then. You could head on down to the end. I bet Floyd would love to see a lovely young lady. Mm -hmm. Uh, Floyd? The bar attendant. Floyd. The barman. Runs the bar. It's open, if you fancy a drink. Hmm. Yeah, a drink sounds good about now. Uh, thanks, Don. You want anything? Oh, I could go for some... What? No, better not. I'll fall asleep on my feet again. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to see a conductor with bags under his eyes. No. Okay, sure. Bags. Catch you later, Don. Oh, bags. The doctor would have a we would have a field trip of that. Okay, let's go see Floyd. <laughs> interesting, interesting. So was it all a dream in the previous episode, or was it just oh no, him just going really crazy? Who knows, right? I would check all these doors, but I won't. I, I, I'll, just, I'll just go straight to the destination. It's fine. <laughs> hey, Floyd, got a nice glass here. This for me. Why, thank you. Hello, Floyd. Anyone? Hmm. No sign. No signs. Any bars? Oh, sounds like he's out back. I'll wait then. Okay. Bloody Mary had one of those in years. Well, it is just sitting here. Wait, there's a note beside it. Dear Alex, I thought you could use a drink. Steady your nerves. I'll be gone a while. Floyd. Well, that's thoughtful. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> no point waiting for Floyd in here, I guess. <laughs> oh, that, that's thoughtful. Gloop. <laughs> Alright then. Alright then. I'm not hungry. Nah, uh, no, not good. All the tables are laid with food. It still looks hot. Where are the diners? Oh, no. Okay, let's go. Oh! The one with the weird man, or woman, or whatever whoever it was, is in here. Is it? Oh, no, it's a ballerina! Little girl! Alright, hello. How are you doing? Uh, hi. You're, you're a wonderful dancer, hey. I don't mean to intrude. Hi, Lydia. How are you doing? Hey, how are you doing, kiddo? I'm... I'm fine, thank you. How are you, Mom? Mom? I'm not like 50. <laughs> hey, call me Alex. I'm not old yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're older than me. That's very true. True. What are you, four? Five? I'll say six. I'm eight, eight. actually. Oh, wow. All right, then. Oh, well, we're almost the same age, then. You must be a big girl traveling alone this late at night. How old are you? Yep. I'm going to see my daddy. Your daddy live in Nippawamzet? What's his name? Nipple? <laughs> no, he doesn't live there. Well, okay. Is that where your daddy lives? Mm, no, I don't know. Well, maybe. I don't know. Yes? Actually, I. Yeah, <laughs> you say. Actually, I lost my father. Tonight. That was what, that's Is that what the why you look was. so sad? I. 
No, actually. He... he'd been suffering. It was better this way. I said my goodbyes already. Mm, Grown up, did you weird. really, though? Yeah. Don't I know it. Anyway, let's not talk about that. What do you want to talk about? I mean, you didn't really go see him at all in hospital or anything. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what your mother was talking about. Saying that you should go over there, but... Whatever. Um... Let's talk about ballet. I used to do ballet, you know. Really? You don't look like a ballerina. Uh, well, thanks, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's a good I thing, right? I hate ballet. I do keep you? trying and trying, but I don't get any better. No, you'll get there, don't you worry. You seem pretty good to me. No, I don't. I hate it. Why do you keep doing it, then? My daddy wants me to. He says it's a good way to meet other girls my age. Alright. Oh, man. That takes me back. That's exactly why my dad pushed me into it, too. Didn't work, though. The other girls didn't like me. <laughs> I was either a better dancer than them, which made them jealous, or a worse dancer than them, which made them tease me. Sounds about In right. In the end, I got thrown out of class for smashing one of the huge mirrors. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. Mm, Don't no. go getting ideas, Missy. I'm a terrible role model. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't do anything like ballet. Uh, my parents were very much just a... Uh, you do what you want, as long as you don't get yourself into trouble. I got myself into trouble, just... I was so good at it, no one found out. Uh, let's talk about yourself. Tell me about yourself. You travel alone a lot? Uh-uh. First time. I used to hate traveling alone. Hate it. I like it. it, actually. I love it now. Yeah. Weird, huh? Why did you hate it? Uh, it's nothing a kid needs to hear. Just lonely, angsty things. Yeah. Are you not lonely anymore? No, I'm super lonely. I'm just at peace with that. Grown-ups. Weird. Very weird. Yeah. Make the most of your childhood when you can, little one. Because adulthood, it sucks. Alex! So, hey, uh, you read comics? Yeah. Well, a little. I do. I love comics. I used to want to draw comics. Me and my friend Kat were going to make one. Why didn't you? Life got in the way. You know how it is. Actually, because they actually kid, yeah. <laughs> you probably don't. Hey, I know a lot of things. Alright. I'm sure you do, kiddo. I like your necklace. Thank you. Thanks. My boyfriend bought it for me. You have a boyfriend? <laughs> gross. Ew. Uh, actually, he's my ex-boyfriend. But there's nothing gross about it. But boys are totally gross. They are totally gross. Yeah, I probably thought the same at your age. Trust me, you might change your mind, though. Sadly. No, they are still gross. What just was your boyfriend's name? <laughs> Gavin. Gavin Catrelli. He has a silly name. <laughs> He's a silly man. What's your name, by the way? Lydia. Well, great to meet you, Lydia. Anyway, I should leave you to your practice. Okay. Come back and see me later. Okay, then. I will. Is this a music box? Yeah, music box. Nice, it was an or 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 ornament box with uh, worms and stuff in it in the last video. I shouldn't mess with it. I might upset her. She seems cool. Huge bag of Fabius bags. I'm not going to rummage through her bag right... Right in front of it, okay. There's only one bag here. Is this girl travelling alone? She just now said she's travelling alone. Keep up, Missy. Okay. Maybe I should go see Dawn, ask if Lang's awake yet. You're yeah, right then. We should do that now. Hey, Dom. When I saw him earlier, I thought he was old. But no, he just has white hair. Now I look at him properly, he seems kind of familiar. Oh, alright, okay. Is this familiar as hey. I should know him Even as well? Miss. Any sign of our doctor friend? Well, I tried to wake him, but he was out cold. It seemed unkind to shake him awake. Fair enough. I could go get some cold water if that'd help. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm imagining it now. And trust me, it's tempting. Anyway, Don, I wanted to ask you a question. Well, ask away. But first, I have one on my own. Shoot. You called me by name just then. Why? Uh, isn't that what people do? I never told you my name, Missy. Huh. Pretty sure you did. Reckon I didn't. Anyway, it's no matter. Just something to think on, is all. Maybe a little bird told you. 
How strange. I'm sure you must have mentioned it. Anyway, I wanted to ask about that picture in the corridor. I noticed it as I went past. You mean the one of old Gloria? No, the other one. The portrait. The young woman? Oh, I... You didn't even look at huh. her. Look at her. Yep. her. But sure. Who was she? I couldn't help but notice the similarities. To who? Me. Don't say you can't see it. Oh, aye. Now you mention it, she does bear a striking resemblance to you. Then again, you all look the same to me after I've had a drop of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> you really shouldn't be drinking on the job. Who was she? Don't rightly know. She came with Gloria. Maybe she's someone's daughter. Maybe. Well, yeah, I imagine yep. she was. <laughs> Most women are a daughter at some point. Yep. Aye. You're a daughter, I imagine. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Grew up around your dad, did you? Uh, can we, like, not talk about my father right now? He kind of passed away very recently. Oh, aye. Sorry, lass. I'm sorry for your loss. It's alright. Uh, it's okay. I knew it was time. He was my stepfather, but I loved oh. him like a dad. Okay. He loved me like a daughter, too. At least up until he stopped recognizing me. What about your mum? Are you and her still close? Still? Well, I assumed... Uh, you assumed wrong. Uh, we were never close. It's a shame. I'm sure that's not true now, lassie. I'm sure everything she did had your best interests at heart. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. You don't know anything about her. Or me, for that matter. Look, I'm sorry. This conversation's creeping me out, okay? It's a bit personal, isn't oh, it? Oh, lassie. Uh... Ah, balls. <laughs> ah, there bombs. we go. Into the tunnel. No idea why old Gloria craps out every damn time here. Settle down. We're in this for the long haul. Alright then. Uh, how long till the lights <laughs> come back on? Huge tunnel. Gonna be a good 15 minutes. It's fine. I've got a candle here, but nothing to light it with. Okay. Do we have the candle? Oh, we have a lighter. There you go. That's what I meant. Here, use this lighter. <laughs> Good work, lass. Must have given my matches to that funny fella in 2B. He right. likes to play with fire, so he does. There was a lantern. Well, in... that sounds astonishingly oh, unsafe. It's alright. I told him to be on his best behaviour. It's not every day we have guests. This is a passenger train. <laughs> is it? <laughs> what? Where the hell did he go? All right. Something is not right about him. Something's not right about this place. Mm. Fuck it. I'm going to knock on Lang's door. All right then. But first, I'd better not tamper with the machinery. All right then. Hey, Lang. You up? No response. Okay. It's locked. Fuck it. I should go see if Lydia's okay. Alright then. Yep. Priority. Kids first. Yep. Make sure she's at what that was TC, wasn't it? Wait. Oh, I can't click out of it now. What look at the picture probably. Let's see what she what she says about it. Doesn't look like her that much. Huh. It's locked. Uh, Lydia? You in there? <laughs> Lydia? <laughs> Shit. I need to get the door open somehow. What the hell's going on in there? Um, fire. Nothing's br yeah, but a fire but extinguisher you can, can be used for putting out fires big red key. or dispersing <laughs> rowdy parties. You could use it to bash down the place, surely. Bash down the down the door. Hi. Um, what's your name? Uh, Rob. Rob. Yeah. Alex. What are you doing? Hello. Here? You came. They said you would. What? You promised you'd call. You never called. Oh, I said I'd go knock on your door, Why didn't, didn't you I? Call? Stop away. Alex? Rob, it's the middle of the night. Wait, what the fuck? What are you doing on it? Did you follow me here? Why are you on the goddamn train? Oh, Alex, come on. I've always been there for you, haven't I? When Gavin it's left you, been when your dad literally... died, when you were getting those threatening I phone calls. Tell you that. Oh, God. I forgot My about that. Died. Exactly. So why wouldn't I be here now when you need me again? You're... You're right. 
Okay, fuck it. But I didn't tell you that my dad Pretty died. sure I've passed out and I'm dreaming this, I just but said I didn't whatever. Want to I'll talk run about it. it. Why do I need you right now? The earth crawls, Alex. The sepulchre thunders towards its destination, like worms burrowing through the soil. From the skies, the predator swoops. Zap! Feast upon the eyes of God. Darkness. Silence. Then a sudden scream pierces the night. Rob, you're scaring me. Weird. I'm sorry. I'm getting caught up in the moment. I should go back to my compartment. Come and find me there Oi. when you're done with the girl. Lydia, I never told you about her. Slice the girl away, Alex. Look at her insides. Go to belly. Find the key. Whatever you say. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on here? This is some fucked up, trippy nightmare shit. Yeah. <laughs> There's something on the table. There's food. Uh, table. That's a knife. Cut her open. Slice her open. Alright then. I might need this. Not to slice her open, please. I don't be slicing a poor little girl open. It's wrong. <laughs> I haven't slicing anyone open is wrong. But you know. I can't reach over. Alright. Anything else around here? No, right then. Let's check all the doors. They sound... Yeah. No. A compartment door. I can hear strange yeah. grunting. <laughs> okay, then. Well, uh... Yeah. They could be... They could be, um... Playing a game of table tennis. <laughs> <laughs> or something. Hi. They sound busy. I won't disturb them. Busy how? Apartment door. I can hear the faint sound of oh, talking just, just from talking. within. Well, you know. People seem to be having fun on this train. Why aren't I? Uh, one CSR room. Let's have a look at our room anyway. Anything in here? Seats. I've been sitting. Yeah, right. Been sitting down for far too long. I don't think I should. Yes, that's what, what is the fascination of stealing things? Like pictures within this game. Uh, let's try this door again. It's locked. Still locked. All right. I shouldn't disturb random people. Why not? No, it looks nothing like you. I'm sorry, but it doesn't. I have no reason to be pulling apart paintings. Besides, I can't do it with my bare hands. It's attached to the wall. Why do you want to pull it apart? We've got a knife, but why would you want to pull it apart? Hmm. There's something here. Alright. That's Weird. a key. There's a key here. It says it's the key to 2A. That was a room where people were just talking, right? Just talking? Why would there be a key in the painting? It's a bit odd. Surprise? Hey. Hey, Alex. Hey, birthday girl. Where'd you get to? Uh, uh, Sophia? Fuck. Jesus. Sophia, it is not my birthday. Why are you here? Hey, you invited us, silly. Why do I invite you to a Already train department? I see. I've only had one Bloody, Bloody Mary. Mary can be quite strong, then. Gavin was looking for you. Oh, God. What? Gavin's here? Sure. Why wouldn't he be? Pretty sure I saw you with your hands down with hands earlier, so oh, you wait, know. This the... I'm surprised you've forgotten. Oh, Teacher. great, Carly too! Fuck um, this! Gavin is not here! You're not here! None of this is here! None of this is real! I'm on a fucking train, for God's sake! Whoa, Alex, chill. Have you taken Ooh, something? <laughs> Isaiah, don't worry about it. Alex is just being your weird hysterical self. Fuck off, Carly. You don't need to be rude to Alex on her birthday. She's being rude to us! Birthday. She's just stressed, aren't you, babe? Yes! I'm stressed! <laughs> I need to get to the bottom of this. Sure. Isaiah likes being in charge of the music. I'll leave it to him. Alright then. We all float down green here. Balloon. Green balloon. It's not. just there. <laughs> Only balloon in the room. 
Why does this seem so familiar? Because it's the, it's it, it's like it's it's not the same place, but it's it's the same like layout as um your background on your PC. Sure. Sophia, can I talk to you for a second? Sure. What's up? Alone. I I can't leave, really. Can't leave the three? Cardi's a bit drunk and you know how she gets. Fuck off. I heard that. You think you're meant to say here, Alex? You can say anything. Okay, okay, look. Where are we? Your apartment, dickhead. Where else? No, we're on a train. Okay, fuck it. I'm asleep, obviously. You need to suspend your disbelief, Al. This'll all go smoother if you just kick back and accept it. And hey, Gavin was around earlier. Why don't you go find him? Why did Gavin you mention and I Gavin? broke up months ago. I don't want to see him. Alex, honey, what are you talking about? We broke up on... on my birthday. It's your birthday today. So, the big 25 for We're going to be breaking up with Gavin today. 27. Definitely. Look at her. She's no spring Who chicken. are you? 27 Club A, Alex. Gonna take a hit, snort a line, shoot up, got in a blaze of fucking glory? Why Don't would I do that? Away. You're 27. Yo, I say You got any blow? Nah, not for you. Clean and sober. Remember? Well, as close as can be. Carly, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> oh, you fucking know what, Alex. You think you're so much better than us? No, I'm just confused. Have, just cause you've gone through some shit? Just cause you had, I don't know, struggles? That's enough, Carly. Carly, why the fuck are you even here? Why did you even come? You clearly don't want you to see me. You don't like me. You know what, Alex? I came for Gavin. For fucking Gavin. For Gavin or you know, to fuck Gavin? Carly, shut the fuck up. Ignore her, Alex. She's drunk. No. You know what? The last time this played out, I never got to say my fucking piece. And I'm done. I'm fucking done taking people's shit this time. I'm on my way to see Kat. Remember her? The girl you fucking ostracized, Carly? And we're going to chill on a fucking island and find pottery and meet Lily fucking Cassell. And your shit heel douche canoe behavior won't bring me the fuck down on my birthday. Not again. Okay. Whoa. Okay, Whoa. ladies. I'm gonna go <laughs> head over here now. Well, come on then, Alex. Tell me how it is. Tell me how you really feel. It's been five years, and you're still not over Gavin. That's fucked, Carly. Move on. Open your eyes. Jesus Christ. Alex, don't go down this road. Hey, fuck you, Alex. It's a train track, actually. Alex, seriously, <laughs> walk away. I'll talk to Carly. Just come back later. Fuck you both. Hey, I listen, just I'll talk Gavin. to Carly. I'll get her to well. leave. It's your party, and you don't deserve this. But could you do me a favor? Fine. Sure, whatever. Put this somewhere safe. It keeps falling out of my purse. Mean girls. What did you give me? Inhaler. Ah, that's how we got Sophia's inhaler. Okay. Anything else we could do in here? We don't really talk to the bike crowd anymore, right? I don't want to talk to these people. No, They're not no. meant to be here. Alright then, so we got what what's we got we got an inhaler? We've got an we've got a balloon, we've got a knife, lighter cigarettes, train ticket, and a purse with the usual stuff in it. Okay. Why do I feel so fucking sick? Oh my chest is so tight again. Ugh, I hate that being him. Huh? The music stopped. Somebody stop the music. Bags the everywhere. <gasps> Where'd everybody go? They've been turned into bags. They're all a bunch of bags. 
got a party yet. Fuck it. Why not? Let's put on a party yet. I mean, all those people have gone. Let's party. Can we can we can we put on the party hat? Please. Spoil sport, you fun huge sponge. Bag. Someone's luggage. Yeah. I won't go rooting through someone's luggage without good reason. No, so no one's that nosy in this game. I've, I, I'm actually kind of disappointed by this. It was that all I wanted to get from this room was a party hat. I assume so. Now, huh? That sounds like my old ringtone. I think it's coming from the other carriage. Oh, someone answer that bloody phone. That's driving me a distraction over here. Sorry, sorry. Why aren't you finding your pocket? I think the ringing's coming from in here. Oh, it's your ring. Quite like, I quite like it. It's quite a nice melody. Ah, here we go. There's a phone stuck in the crack. This is my old cell phone. The one I got rid of a few weeks ago. Right. And it's ringing. Withheld number. Oh god, not again. Hello? Hello, little porcelain girl. Oh, fuck off. Not now. Mm -hmm. Don't you dare hang up. Don't you fucking dare. Who is this guy? I can see you right now, you know. I doubt that. I'm on... A train. Cabin 1C. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. How are you here? I'm always watching you, little porcelain girl. Always. Can't miss a chance to see those titties or maybe your I am going to find you, and I am going to cut your cock off and shove it down your throat, you disgusting excuse for a human being. Mm -hmm. I am going to make you watch in the mirror as you choke on your own dick. <laughs> and then I'll slice your fucking throat if you ever, ever call me again. Ever. I will find out who you are, and you will die. All right. Well, okay then. <laughs> and here I was about to invite you over to my compartment to party, you know, 1A, if you got the balls for it. All right, all right. <laughs> <sighs> this guy, this fucking guy. Not the first time he's cool today, then. Hi. Oh, damnation. I'm sorry, alas. I should have knocked. No, it's okay. no, it's fine. I'm just a bit jumpy. I, uh, held you through the door. Nuisance calls, is it? Mm, something like that. Yeah, dude's been calling me for the past few months. Pretty sure my ex put him up to it. It's been happening since we broke up. Hmm. Ah. Surely you wouldn't do a thing like that. Well, I don't know. It makes no sense. Gavin wasn't... isn't like that, I thought, and he denies it. But it's too much of a coincidence, right? I, Maybe. Could be anyone, though, really. Old Don believes in coincidence. Still, at least you're well away and safe on old Claudia, eh? No, he said he's here. He said he's on the fucking train. Well, that can't be. Unless your boy's a big English fella with a stick up his ass. <laughs> no, no, it's not playing. Well then. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it could be Lydia. What did you just say? Oh, I was kidding. I don't really think my harasser is an eight-year-old girl. You never You've know. You've seen young Lydia tonight. Yeah. Why wasn't I meant to disturb her? Oh, uh, no, it's fine. I just, uh, I'll look out for her, you know. Where did you see her? In the next carriage. In her compartment. Yeah, do you see? Oh, well, right you are then. I should just go and check on her. See if she needs anything. Wait, the guy told me to meet him in 1A. Well, there's no one in 1A. I think I'd have noticed. Well, bye. Jesus. Okay. okay, Alex. Don't lose it at this juncture. Nothing unexpected is happening. You know what to do. Roll with it. See it yeah. through. It's okay. Maybe it's a little more intense than you were expecting. A little more real. But you can do this. It'll be worth okay. it. Nothing comes for free. I guess I should head to 1A. No point putting it off. I'm not sure about it. I want to go to 1A quite honestly. Or maybe there isn't anything there. Maybe it's just... I don't know. 
That's one we track on your phone. I thought they would try and scare you or something, but mm, I'm a bit of a chicken chick when it comes to these things. I don't really want to be messing with anything that might get me into some sort of trouble. Hi. Oh, Rob. Rob? Hey, Alex. Remember the nuisance caller? You mean Gavin? It's not no. Gavin, Rob. We've been over this. Hmm. You know what I mean. It is doing. It has to be. So you've said. Many times. He told me to come here. Oh, now he's trying to fuck with both of us. Great. Hmm. I don't think you have anything to worry about, Rob. No. Of course not. Alex, I've been so worried about you. Why? Just, you know... Everything that's been going on with you. Gavin, your father, the stalker. I care about you a lot, Alex. I've told you about my daughter, right? Yeah. Yeah, you have. What's this? You remind me of her, you know? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Rob. Missing. Disappeared. I never did find out who took her. If she's still alive. I know. I know. It must be terrible. My dad, my real dad, I mean, he walked out on my mom when I was six months old. She never found out what happened to him. Keith raised me like his own. He loved me like a daughter. I called him dad. But I always wondered, you know. And now Keith's gone too. <laughs> Look at us. We're a right pair, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I'm so worried, Alex. When I was in your apartment earlier, and, and you were just lying there on the couch, it didn't look like you were breathing. I thought... I thought I'd lost you. Why would you... No, I was... Yeah, why Wait. are you in my Wait, apartment? What? No! Watch me sleep. It's making me say things I don't want to say. What? What is? The worm! The worm inside my head! Burrowing away inside my brain! Wriggling like a grub! Rob, stop it! Listen, focus. Why were you in my apartment? I came in. I came in and I watched you sleep. No, stop. I watched you sleep. I just watched. I didn't do anything. I always just watch. I watch over you. No, I can't let really them harm creepy. you. None of those filthy fucking men. Not Gavin, not Lang, not any of them. I know what they want from girls like you. You're my little porcelain doll, yeah. Alex. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, Rob, no. Why? Why? It wasn't me. It was Gavin. He's a no-good, dirty boy. He just wants to use you. Wants your body. You have to keep away from him, Alex. Keep away from all the dirty little boys. No. It's just getting more and more. I've been watching over you <laughs> all the time, and now the worm wants to eat my eyes. Stop me watching. Mm. They're trying to take my porcelain doll away from me, and I won't let them. Rob, are you the one who's been calling me? Is that what you're saying? If it hadn't been me, it would have been someone else. Someone actually intent on doing you harm. I've scared you away from those dirty boys, haven't I? I've kept you safe. I've shown you how, how vulnerable helping? you are. That is all kinds of fucked up. All yeah. fucking kinds. You don't stalk someone I just in case someone else is going to stalk them. I let you in. I had, oh, I had no idea. Look, they're getting to you. They're trying to take you away from me. Who hmm. is? You're not making any fucking sense. Who's taking me away from you? The dead that sleep beneath the earth. The court of the charnel house king! The worms eat the flesh, the birds eat the worms, the augurs watch the birds, the cycle of carrion rots its way towards infinity! Now, stay here with me, where it's safe. Um, I'd rather not, thank you very much. No, he's got a collage of me. I don't even want to look at these any longer. Photos of me. Hundreds and hundreds of photos. Some of them are from inside of my apartment. Ugh, no. How long has this been going on? <laughs>
and I've done with my fair share, fair share, share of stalkers and creepiness like this. It's just, hmm, no, no. <laughs> oh, it's really kind of <laughs> uh, poor Slender. Okay, that's of yeah of her of Alex. It's a porcelain doll. Mm. It. <laughs> I think it has my hair, my actual hair. Oh my god! Oh, that's Don't horrible. Don't you fucking touch my daughter, you daughter Jezebel! No. Ew! No, get get away from that. Is there anything I can do? Inhaler, party hat. You want a balloon? Here, have a balloon. I don't think he'd appreciate. <laughs> you sure? I don't want to be stabbing him. He's a stalker, sure, but... Creepy. What party yet? I don't... <laughs> what an inhaler? I'd rather try and talk... Well, I don't want to be talking to him, I'm sorry. I just kind of want to stab him constantly. Rob, please let me pass. Please. We can forget this ever happened. I won't tell anyone. Tell anyone what? That I tried to protect you. Why would anyone judge me for that? I don't uh, see how you would protect you him. Help. You need to talk to someone. I'll help you. I'm serious. No. I have to keep you safe. No, you don't. I'm not going anywhere. You don't need to keep me safe. It's fine. You ha you think if you're the one that's stalking me, looking over me all the time, no one else will. That's just creepy in itself. <laughs> no. Anything else I can do in here? What else? I've got a lantern. I have no need to. Alright. I'd rather. <laughs> what was that, sorry? I'd rather not get jump out. Get as I have to. A window looking out into the night. The train's moving. Fast. Okay. Sorry, I keep on cut on it. Because I was like, I read it, and then I just got it. <gasps> Forgetting that I am actually telling it other people are watching this. <laughs> What do I do? I don't want to stab him. I don't want to stab him. I do, but I don't. Ugh! What are you doing? Let me through, or I'll cut you. I swear to God. No, you won't. Don't fucking try me, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're upset. Mm. Well, yeah, yeah, I am fucking upset. I am upset at what you've done to me, at what you've made me endure. And why? To protect me? If you'd seen what I've seen, you'd know why, Alex. You'd know. What have you then seen? tell me. Yeah. Tell me what you've seen. No! I have to protect you! Well, protect me from... It, but, 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 the best means of protection is knowing what you're meant to be... I could kill like, for what a you're cigarette going against, right, right now. Cigarette, then sure. Rob, I'm going to smoke, okay? I need to relax. Smoking will kill you, Alex. I don't really care Jesus at this point. Christ, <laughs> at least let me have this one thing. You can't protect me from everything. Okay, fine, fine. Okay. What we gained from that? Huh. Okay. Oh, did not do, do that. Hey, do you want one? Do you want a toke? I don't smoke. It's toke surprisingly smoke. calming. Thanks. You should try it. No, I don't. Oh! 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 <laughs> Rob, I feel for you. I really do. But nobody harasses me and gets away with it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what were you doing in there, lass? My stalker, my my neighbor, Rob. He's in there. I I heard him. He might need medical attention. I can't go back in there. He was oh god. Mm -hmm. Now slow down, lassie. Tell old Don what's what. Rob. Robert Crow. He's my neighbor and one of my best friends. So I thought. 
He's the one who's been calling me, encouraging me to think it was my ex, Gavin. He put the idea in my head. Oh god, it's so obvious now I think about it. But, but Rob's not a bad guy. He's not okay. He's not okay. He was trying to protect me. <sighs> no then. Sounds like he's in need of help. But that doesn't mean that you need to put up with this nonsense. Or let it hurt you. Yeah, I know. But I heard him. Can you at least go in and check on him? See if he needs first aid? I think I he will. I don't rightly think I can, Lassie. <laughs> can I? And I think that you know why. He won't be in there if you go in, will he? No. Nope. I. You understand this place better than most of us did when we first got here. I... I think I do. This is the sepulchre, right? Aye. Oh, Gloria. <laughs> the engine of death. Only... Only... Tonight we make our last stop. It's all thanks to you. You and mm -hmm. Lang. I know, but... I don't understand. Why us? The island wants you, lassie. You and the Doctor. Us? We're just the staff. You two are the special ones. But you're setting us all free tonight. One way or another. Okay. Who is us? Me and, well, you'll see soon enough. You should go and check on your friends. I heard something of a ruckus down in carriage too. Oh, and Lassie? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry about all this. It's okay. It's okay. I kind of want to go in there anyway. It's locked. I can't hear anything inside. Okay. I'm gonna check all the doors anyway, just to make sure. This, locked. this, this. I can hear snoring. Lang sleeping through all of this. I envy him. <laughs> Don't envy him. I just now played as him. Debbie would not want to envy him. In, in, in my room? Anything in here? No, all right. This game's got messed up very quickly. <laughs> okay. That's where the party was happening, right? Hi. You're the only one that's not blacked out, so let's talk to you. Hey, Isaiah. Hey, Al. How you doing? I'm... Could be better. I'm surprisingly okay. All right. Man, really? You and Gavin were really going at it. We... What? We were? Yeah. I've never seen a girl cuss out her boyfriend like that. Well, ex-boyfriend, I guess now. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. That was tonight? Like, half an hour ago? Yeah, are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Time's... Time's a little fucked up for me right now. Don't mm -hmm. worry about it. Alright. Sophia took Carly into the other room. Maybe you should, I don't know, try and patch things up if you want. Okay. Last time, I left it. I blamed them both. I was so sure. So sure. My friends would never talk to me about it. Or maybe I just wouldn't listen. I need to find out what really happened. Maybe tonight I can make things right. Okay. Um. So. What happened? In your opinion. In my opinion, she was all over him. Gavin tried to get rid of her. She wasn't having any of it. All right. Okay. You walked in. You walked in at the worst time, right? <laughs> I don't know. All I'm saying is, from where I was standing, your boy didn't look like he was having a good time of it. Right, then. I wondered that. I always did. But Gavin admitted it. He said he wanted to end it too, that he wanted to see other people. He never defended himself. You didn't really give him a chance to. You kicked him right out. <laughs> oh, I mean, afterwards. In the weeks after. It, it hasn't happened yet. Wait, I mean, that yeah. hasn't happened here yet. <laughs> never mind. Girl, you're making my head spin with this. I've had a lot to anyway. drink. My advice is, go talk to Carly. She's sobered up. She'll tell you Gavin did nothing wrong. Okay. In a bit. Maybe he did want to see other people, but he didn't want to see her. As in, not 
Sam is in Carly? I'm getting the names wrong here probably. Um like Carly was forcing herself onto Gowan. Gowan did not want it. Um but she but he also didn't really want to go out with um Alex anymore. Uh where did uh, where did Gavin He's go? gone, right? Yeah. Your boy bounced after you threw that cup at him. Huh. Real mood killer. <laughs> okay, don't make me feel worse about it. Hey, it was kind of funny, really. At least it was just a plastic cup. Yeah. Last I saw, he was headed off. Maybe you should call him. Tomorrow. I will tomorrow. I got hit in the, got hit in the head by a can of Coke once. Good job it was a soft drink. <laughs> Ask about Rob. Have you seen Rob about? Don't know the dude. My neighbor. From across the hall. Oh, nah. He ain't been by that I've seen. Okay. Isaiah, you remember those nuisance phone calls? Huh? No, you ain't mentioned that to me. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah. They start in a few days. Oh, you're sad as so... What? <laughs> Nothing. Existential crisis. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Man, that's the theme of the night, all right. Mm. Okay. Fuck it. I'm gonna go talk to Carly. Like I said, she's next door with Sophia. Okay, cool. Have a good night, Isaiah. Have Peace. A good night. Peace. Okay. Next door, to be. Apparently, Carly and Sophia are. These here. are the people that are having a, a good time, right? Hey, Alice. Oh, it's you need to talk Carly down. down. I am Judas. <laughs> I am Judas. She's freaking out. She. Look, she threw herself at Gavin. There's no easy way to say it, okay? So Isaiah said. I am Judas. I am the betrayer. <sighs> Who Damn. in the blue fuck is that? What? Carly. No, that dude. Alex, don't dick around. Just talk to Carly. Please. I can't do this anymore. I am the sinner. I am the whore. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Let's talk to Grub. That's what I call my food. Grub. Okay, fuck that. <laughs> Hi, Carly, Carly. What the fuck happened? Alex, I have betrayed you. I am the sinner. Well, so yeah, I fucking saying. know that. Yeah. I want to hear it in your words. I am Judas. I am the path to Calvary. I am the crucifixion. Mm, you okay. promised me silver. That devil promised me silver. Where's my silver? Carly... Tell me what the fuck you did. Was Gavin complicit? Silver. I want my silver. This is fucking useless. How am I meant to find any silver? We've got a silver lighter. We've got a party yet. Uh, we've got... What was in here again? Cards, money, mace, got the money. usual. I've got some money even. Cards, money, money. Mace, You've got like silver coins, right? No. Nah. No, I don't, don't think so. Hey, do you want, do you want, do you want a lighter? That's silver. Nah. No. Hmm. Do you want a party hat? Nah. 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 What 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 what's Grub holding here? Got some sort of purse on him. Nah. Okay. Park that. Hey, you got any money on you? Yeah, there's some in my purse. You can grab it. Where's your purse? Just over there. See? <laughs> yeah, yeah. On the seat opposite? Yeah. Oh. Of course. What do you want then, huh? What do you want? Do you want a balloon? Hey, you <laughs> like balloons? How do you mean? How do you mean? I only like red balloons or yellow balloons, depending on what you're going by. Nah. Nah. Okay. G, 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 you want an inhaler? Nah. It sounds like you're a bit raspy there. 
Um, do you want a smoke? It's not going to help your voice be there. Um. Hey, how about a trade? This, this lighter, lighter for the bag? bag. <laughs> That's a ha ha ha. There's your silver. Thank you. Three dollars and four cents. Hopefully this will do. It's money anyway. Okay, three dollars and four cents. Hey, you want this? Here. Silver. Will this do? Silver. My silver. Yes, your silver. Gavin doesn't want me, Alex. He wanted you. He wanted you and it kills me. You were the noose around my neck, Alex. You. Gavin wanted you and you sent him into the cold. You sent him into the earth. What the hell do you mean, into the earth? Oh, you poor, sweet dear. You have no clue, I really do you? Not really, no. If he only he could have explained. He wouldn't face me. I tried, Carly. God, I tried. I wanted to meet up, to try and talk it through, but he wouldn't. Just terse phone himself? calls that turned into text messages that turned into nothing. Almost as if... Almost as if... We only want to protect you, Alex. All of us only want to protect you. Okay. That was obvious gonna, obviously gonna happen. Okay. <laughs> well, you're no fucking use, are you? Alright. I'll leave you be. This one's open. Lydia? Gab. Lydia. Alex! Hey! hey I missed you! I keep hearing weird noises on this train. Yeah, me though. And a man keeps looking in at me through the door. Oh, okay. You mean Don, the conductor? No, a strange man. I've never seen him before. I don't like him. Okay. I want my daddy. My daddy's gonna get me from the station. He said he got me a present. That's nice, I right? I hope it's a doll. Of course, Linda, I, I hope let not. Dolls. Oh. Oh, Lydia, sweetie. Oh, what's your daddy's name? My daddy's called Robert Crow. Mm. I see. I thought oh, that'd be the case. God. Yep. I thought so. Do you know my daddy? Mm, I do. Yeah. Yeah, I... Your daddy misses you very much, Lydia. Very, very much. This... this train journey you're on. Do you remember how it ends? I remember a man and a doll. Okay. It was cold. We got off the train early. He said he was my daddy's friend, and then... And then I'm back on the train and we're gonna see daddy. I can take you to see your daddy right now if you want. Uh-uh. That's what the man said too, but he had a doll from daddy to prove it. Okay. So you're wanting a doll from daddy. Daddy has a bit of a problem with his eye, so he might not be able to see you properly. Um. Hey, do you want a party yet? I don't think she wants. Do you want a balloon? I don't think she. W All right then. Do you want an inhaler? I don't think she doesn't want much, do she? All right then. I'll try and get the doll. Yeah. I'm just going back into that room, but. We'll give it a go. Okay. I don't want Rob to get this back. I'll take it. Yeah, good idea. And uh, we shall leave this creepy ass, ass room and uh, go back to Lydia where she probably won't be anymore. She probably won't be there anymore. It'll probably be someone else. It'll probably, it'll, it'll probably be Rob. Or Gavin. At least the door's still open, right? Hmm. 
Okay. Right, well, Lydia's still here. Her friend called Lydia. She's also a bit weird. <laughs> hey, Lydia. I have something for you. <gasps> oh, wow! That's the doll I saw with Daddy. Mm. You really have met him. I have. My neighbour. Yeah. Do He's you a... want to go see him? Wonderful guy. Yeah, let me just... Hey, who's that? Drag some Lydia? sort of bag, by the sounds of it. Lydia? Yeah. Let's have a look. Worms. It's, it's full of dirt. The dirt's moving. It's full of worms. Oh, God, gross. There's something in there, too, but there's no way I'm plunging oh, my hand into that teeming mess. It's just worms. It's just worms. Okay, um... You got anything in here? We can spray them to death, we can light them on fire. We can't do it. we don't have a lighter though. Um what if we scoop it out of a party at? Scoop it out of a party at. I'll just yeah. scoop some of this dirt away. It's a knife. Huh. It's my knife. I'll take that. Sure, why not? Okay, I thought the knife broke. I don't know, I just got, just got knocked, un knocked under the table. Didn't actually break, break. I should. Alright then. So now what are we going to be using the knife for, huh? What's happening? Huh. Is that music coming from the bar? Is Floyd finally back? Maybe. Because I could sure use a fucking stiff drink right about now. <laughs> you and me both. Uh, okay. Hey Floyd, you alright? This is where it's actually Gavin. Hey Floyd, I'm waiting for him to turn ah, up. Ah yes, Miss Davenport. So nice to see you again. Please take a seat. I'd rather stand, but, but, Gavin. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Alex. Oh, Gavin. Oh God, Gavin. To see your face again. <laughs> How could you leave me like that? How could you do this to me? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me what an ass I was being? Would that I could, sweetheart. What do you mean? It was uncharacteristic, wasn't it? I mean, we've had fights before, haven't we? Yeah, I just... You told me you were sick of it. Sick of me. You hurt me so fucking bad, Gavin. You reached into every single wound you know I have and poked the fuck around. All because I made a mistake? A mistake you could have so easily rectified? Let me pour you a drink, babe. Fine. Gin. Straight. <laughs> it must all be so confusing. I... I wasn't prepared for all this. I thought I'd led a simple life. I thought this would be easy. It's never easy. Everyone has secrets. Even that Lang fellow, you'd think he'd be the most boring guy in existence, but he had a lot of skeletons in his closet, let me tell you. Right. Why are you here? Why are you on the train? How long have you been here? Since you came aboard. It's different for whoever rides old Gloria. There's always a Don, there's always a Floyd. But for you two, they were us. We're all connected in ways you were only just beginning to understand. This is bigger than us, Alex. We are all the children of Augur Peak, and we're all going home. You can thank Katerina when you see her. She's found something on that island, something that's changed the sepulcher forever. Anyway, you'll find out soon enough. Cat's story is a tale for another day. Yours hasn't ended yet. And what about Lang? I, I can't talk to you about Lang. Why not? Because I want to talk about me. Huh. Okay. How unusual. <laughs> hey, we're not fighting anymore, remember? Sorry. Sounds like stuff. Sorry. Fun. I've just grown so used to hating you lately. Those times on the phone just after we broke up. You were so hurtful. So hateful. And it killed me too, Alex. The things we're forced to say with a gun to our heads. What do... Call me, Alex. It'll explain everything better than I could. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> Rob. Rob? Gavin? Explain. 
You'll never guess who I bumped into as I left your party that night. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, Alex. It was meant to be. It was so perfect. There he was, weeping in the hall, and there I was, the good neighbor, your friend, with a shoulder to cry on right. and a pot of coffee on the stove, so we could give you some time without going too far. So he could wait it out, make his triumphant return after your friends had left. Everything would have gone back to the way it was. He would have continued defiling you. I could hear you both, you know, through the walls. Hear the terrible things he did to you. How he forced you to moan in pleasure, to pretend to be enjoying it. How you were conditioned to be debased and defiled by these dirty fucking boys. That's... Fucked. That's so, so fucked. I am not some victim for you to save from consensual adult relationships. Robert, I'm not your daughter. I am not Lydia. What the fuck do you know about Lydia, Alex? Mm, tit for tat. Let's exchange stories. Okay. Uh... Your ex-wife put her on the train to come meet you? Yes! Mm. Yeah. She was coming to visit me. I mean, that's what she said, but, but I weren't sure if that's... Lydia. I mean, I well, yeah, I weren't sure if that's what actually happened. Okay, you got to pick her up from the station. She, was, she wasn't on the train. You met her at the station. You met her at the station? No! Alright then. You forgot to pick her up from no. the station. All right, no, that's then. not how it happened at all. All right, she wasn't on the train. She wasn't there. We searched the train frantically. All right, nobody then. could remember seeing her. Couldn't remember where she'd gotten off if she'd even been on in the first place. Okay, and that's why Dom was surprised that Lydia was on the train. Uh, they found her body the next day. They never found her body. Nothing. Nothing. Eventually, they gave up searching, but I knew, I knew, Alex, that my baby was out there somewhere, dead, just waiting to be found, that I couldn't save her. But then I met you, and I saw how you needed saving. I don't need you saving. You remind me of the woman Lydia would have grown up to become. I'm not your fucking daughter, Robert. Now tell me about Gavin. Well, I couldn't have that, that dirty boy putting his hands all over my beautiful porcelain doll. I'm not your I couldn't have porcelain it. Doll. I'm a pharmacist, you know. I know how to do things to people. Mm. To drug them. To knock them out. To paralyse them. A few That's cuts nice here and there. A few threats. And I know how to make them say what I want them to. You should have... Oh, you should have seen the look on his face as he made those phone calls to you, as I pressed the knife to his balls and whispered, Keep going. And you should see him now, four months and still alive. Had to remove his other leg last weekend. No good now. Not with the gangrene. Amazed you've never noticed the smell. It's incredible how compliant someone is when they know the person they love is just across the hall. Incredible how easy it is to keep someone alive while locked in a tiny, tiny room. And... And he wasn't dirty anymore. I cleaned him up. I did. Made him a porcelain doll. Just like you. Okay. A frozen porcelain doll. Kevin, This isn't true, is it? This is just one of the sepulchre's fucked up fantasies. It's true. I'm there. I'm alive. Of course, so is Robert, at least for the time being. It's probably about time a neighbor noticed the smell and called the cops. Would you like that, eh, Robert? No, I like you better with your tongue cut out, Gavin. <laughs> well, that explains why the phone call stopped, Alex. Well, there's not much left to take. Okay. He's just a head on a torso now. Oh, it's beautiful, Alex. He is the perfect man. You are so, so fucked up. Yeah, just a little You bit. are fucking fucked. I hope you fucking die and rot in hell, you piece of shit. Oh, I'm about to get one back of sentence. That Langfellas trying to get some sleep. You're all screaming loud enough to wake the dead. <laughs> but I'm 
Evening, Floyd. Evening, Donald. Oh, hi. I see how it is. Made fair good time on this one, lassie. Floyd, a whiskey, if you'd be so kind. Coming right up, sir. Anyways, don't let old Don get in the middle of your dramatic revelation, kids. Don't mind me. I'm just taking the weight off my feet. Pretend like I'm not here. So now what? You have to end this. Alright. I'm not going to end it with, by stabbing myself or anything. Hey, do you want a bling? I don't think he'd appreciate it. <laughs> I'm determined to give someone this bloody bling. Uh, do you want a bling? Nah. No. What have we even got? Is it? Is this it? I don't want to be ending my ending it by stabbing myself. If, if that's if that's what the game's intended me to do. Right. Oh, I get get stab one of these maybe. I get stab Rob. Can I stab Rob? Oh. Oh. Great. Okay. Sure. That's how it's gonna happen then, hey. Lloyd. Donald. I don't reckon that's how it was meant to go. Do you? Can't say yeah. I do, no. This one. He's reaching through, isn't he? Looks that way. Oh, Logger's not going to be happy about this. I guess that's just the way it goes sometimes. Can't uh -huh. interfere. Alright. Cassell? No. Don't! I see. Okay. Broke. I can't breathe again. Help! Help me! This isn't how it ends. I hope not. want to be alone right now. You can't hear me anyway. I wasn't... I wasn't prepared. Not for this. I thought I'd see him. Keith. My father. Instead I found... this. I don't know what was real. Rob, Gavin, Carly, Lydia, and you, Dr. Harold Lang. I bet you thought you weren't going to make it here tonight, like I did. I don't think either of us made it here tonight. The train's stopping. I hope you wake up, Dr. Lang. I hope we both wake up. Who's this? The mother? There's a fog rolling in. I can oh, this is Kate. Cat. Kit. Cat. Well, that's gonna Kit make Kat. today's work even more fun. God damn. Still, Harry and Alex should be here later today. I hope they had a safe journey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So many unanswered. <laughs> Why do I recognise name Jim Sterling? I don't know, but <laughs> there's so many unanswered questions. <laughs> what happens? This is only a trilogy. There's not. There isn't any more. There isn't any more to this, is there? I know it's a trilogy, but there isn't any more to this, is there? You can't just leave it there. We had so many. We had so many things that we haven't even used yet in our inventory. Oh no, that was very weird. It got very messed up there. Who in this episode? Very messed up. Uh, 
I don't really know what to say. I just it, it needs to be wrapped together more. It can't it can't just end there. It can't. It's really loud in my ears. That's better. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, I called it wasn't like a, a real thing in the first place. Anyway, I, I called I called that. That, that. that was obvious. But uh, I don't even know what to say. It's unlike me to be kind of speechless. <laughs> I, mean, I, I enjoyed it though. I enjoyed it. I, I do kind of love games with stories like that. Uh, but it, it gets me thinking because of yeah. Weirdly, I can, re I can relate to a lot of stuff, but... Oh, it's weird. <laughs> what, 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 is that like just a crow flying through the window there? I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, what, 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 to, what to say, what to comment, I don't know. <laughs> I, just, I just want more. I want to know how it continues. Do they make it to, 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 uh, cat, cat's house? Um... Okay. I don't know. It's just like wow. It's just all over the place. Okay. So there's no, there's nothing at the end of these credits, is there? I don't think so. It might throw us something. Okay. 2016. When did this game come out? I don't know. Is this the island that we were meant to be travelling to? Interesting, interesting. I'm going to have a quick look. I'm going to have a quick look to see... I didn't even get all the... I didn't even get all of the achievements. Um, you put out an old trick. You put out an old trick. We all float. I knew there was something to do with that... With, with that um, balloon. I knew it. Huh, I wonder how I do that. We all float. Dunno. Anyway, yes, um... But yeah, so I didn't actually... Full screen this. I didn't actually uh, look at this game before playing it, as I said in the very first video. That, um... Yeah, I just, I just, um... Activated the key, downloaded it. Loaded it up straight away without even looking at it. But, um... The, is it? Is, is there? I don't know why I decided to tab that, but sure. No, there isn't. Got a Tip Trilogy demo. We've got Richard and Alice, whoever, whatever that is. Is it 2016? This is going to continue, but it, it it hasn't. It hasn't. It hasn't. That's quite annoying. I want it to continue. <laughs> huh. Oh, no. But... <laughs> It was definitely an interesting journey, that's for sure. I'm trying, I'm trying to make sense of it. I, I hate how it just cuts off there. Like there's just, there's just no closure, and there's no sight of a continuation with this. I don't know what's happened. Um, points we can get from this. Um, people aren't who they seem to be. Uh, who who think they are. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what to, t what to take from this game. Um, what's his face? Rob kept on saying that he was uh, our father, like, but but he wasn't. He was Lydia's. He was the daughter was Lydia's. D Lydia was his daughter, not Alex. But he kept on saying that. Oh, but you're my daughter. I need to look after you. It's like I'm not your daughter, but uh, maybe maybe he was. Maybe he was because obviously Alex didn't actually know his know her real father. So, uh, it might have been here, I don't know how old this Rob person was meant to be, but maybe it was actually her father and he was looking after her and, well, he was dead now anyway, so uh, maybe, and on this, on this train you could, like, see dead people and, uh, wasn't it even at the start, at the end of the, uh, the first episode, uh, Alex was like, and so I decided to go see him or something like that and so aren't they 
that was like that that was straight after a call from Washima's hospital saying that her dad just well caring whether it was saying that her dad should now die and then yes yeah, when went got onto this train to then see him but just like his dead self dunno. I don't know, I'm just I'm trying to pick at it but I I'm not I'm not really making much sense of it quite honestly. But I thought it was a I thought it was a good story, just I just hated how it ended. Just, it, like we need we need we need closure, we need closure. But I guess it was just one of the, 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 they just think you have to try and work it out for yourself, but there's just so much going on that it's, it's hard to work out. Uh as I just say, it just got it just got a bit messed up really, didn't it? <laughs> Very messed up, but I don't know. I yeah, I can't really pick at it enough in uh, words that make sense. So I'm just gonna leave it here. Let me know what you thought of the game in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if it's ready, and I shall see you all in the next video. Cheerio. Cheerio!